Hey guys, I know I've been talking a lot about my electric car lately, but we finally got some snowy weather, which means I get to try out my new snowblower. This is the Snow Joe Ion 8024 XR cordless two stage snowblower. It has a clearing width of 24 inches wide by 13 inches high. This snowblower also came with a dual port battery charger and two batteries. Operation of the snowblower is pretty straightforward. There's the emergency stop switch located on the left, big red button. On the right hand side is the on off switch, which you can see turns the unit on. You have your three forward speeds, one reverse speed, and your lights. There's also two battery indicators in the top left and top right of the screen. Press the first button to select the slowest front gear or the bottom button to put it into reverse. To activate, use the lever on the left. Press the button to activate the lights. You have to press it really hard. To activate the auger, press the button first and then press the handle down. When I unboxed it, I noticed there was a giant dent in the frame. I don't think it happened during shipping because the box wasn't damaged, but there was clearly a very large dent. I contacted the Snow Joe customer service, but unfortunately they weren't able to do anything unless I wanted to send back the entire unit, which was a big pain in the ass, so I didn't even bother. But when I paid for it, I paid full price, even though there's the big dent in it. And now it's on sale on their website. So you could get it for $675, which I'd rather have paid that price for it if it was going to come damaged. Also, when I bought this, the website claimed to have a 40 minute estimated runtime. I barely made it to 30 minutes, which is what it says now on their website. This was where the batteries ran out. It's also worth mentioning that this was really heavy snow. It's really coming down and sticking to the tree, you can see. And about now is when I was finished and the snowplow came by to dump the metric ton of snow right at the end of the driveway. Here it is. Thank you very much. So what don't I like about the Snow Joe? Well, the battery life doesn't last as long as I thought it would, and the batteries cost a lot of money. You have to buy two batteries at a time. Uh, I think they're about $150 a piece. Going forward and reverse, you have to press the button on the console instead of moving a lever. So it's kind of tough and you have to press the buttons really hard. Changing the left and right direction of the chute is performed using this up and down button on the left hand of the handles. You have to press it really hard and it moves really slowly. On the other hand, with the uh, battery powered snowblower, there is no engine maintenance that you need to perform. There is no fluids you need to change or worry about leaking or going bad during the summer when you're not using it. So you can store it for long periods of time and then when you're ready to use it, just have the batteries charged back up and put them in and you're ready to go. The operation of this is much quieter than a gasoline powered snowblower. Uh, with this unit you probably don't even need ear protection but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, it also has a very powerful motor. This can throw light snow very far distances. Um, one thing that I wish it had was in addition to using batteries, if you could plug an extension cord into it so you could plug it into the wall, that would make uh, you know doing small jobs or finishing up a job if you run out of battery a lot easier. I think that would be not too difficult to build into it for not too much more um, added cost and it would add a lot of value to it. Just to give you an idea on the consistency of the snow, um, it was really heavy. 
there was all kinds of trees down and power lines and all kinds of stuff. So it was really heavy snow and I'm actually surprised that the snow blower uh, handled it as well as it did. Here's another tree right on top of someone's car. Watch out for the guy on his cell phone not paying attention. And good. The battery charger runs around 120 to 135 watts. And it seems like it takes between 3 to 8 hours to fully charge the batteries. Also, the lights on the battery charger are really bright. I mean, like light up a room at night bright. So would I recommend this? Well, probably at the discounted price. And if you are in a situation where you either can't store a gasoline engine or don't want to bother maintaining it, I think this would be a really great thing, especially if they build in the extension cord option in the future.